4.3 Complete Magic Squares Part 2 In this video, we will learn about complete magic squares in a calendar. Today, Appy and Fruity are arguing about who is more clever. Meanwhile, Appy says, To decide who is more clever, let us play a puzzle game. In this game, we will ask a puzzle from each other and the one who solves the puzzle will win. Do you agree with me? Fruity says, Yes. Appy says, Good. So let the game begin. The puzzle is, In this calendar, there is a third order square. Its top right corner number is 15. Can you rearrange the numbers in a square arrangement and make a complete magic square? Hey students, like Fruity, do you also want to test your cleverness? If yes, then you can pause the video and try to solve the puzzle. After a few minutes, Fruity says, The top right corner number of a square is 15. And the square is of a third order. So the square is this. Yes, I can make a complete magic square by rearranging the numbers in this square arrangement. Let me show you how. In this square, by adding 7 to the first row, I get the second row with numbers. By adding 14 to the first row, I get the last row with numbers. Similarly, by adding 0 to the first row, I get the first row. That's why here 13, 14 and 15 are basic numbers and 0, 7 and 14 are root numbers. Now, by using 13, 14 and 15, I will make a Latin square. A Latin square is a square in which the same numbers are used in each row or column but a number is not repeated in the same row or column. A number can get repeated more than once along a diagonal. Also, it is worth noticing that in a Latin square, all the row sums and column sums are equal. Now. I will make another Latin square by using 0, 7 and 14 like this. In this, the order of 0, 7 and 14 along the diagonal is from the right top to the left bottom. After this, I will add the cell to cell of both these squares and get the composite square like this. In this square, the sum of all rows, columns and diagonals is equal. Hence, this is a magic square. And you can see the numbers in a square given by you are rearranged to a magic square. Now, let me show you one more magic in this square. For this, I will write the square of the number in each cell like this. In this square, the n row sums and n column sums are equal. So, this is the imperfect magic square of the new variety. This solves the puzzle of finding numbers that can be expressed as a sum of three squares in 
two different ways. Now, let me tell you an easy trick to make a magic square. Look at this square. I will take the diagonal cells to the middle column cells and middle row cells like this. Then, I will take the middle column cells and middle row cells to diagonal cells in reverse order like this. This is how we can get a magic square. Appy says, wow, you are so brilliant. Now it's your turn to ask me the puzzle. Fruity says, yes. And the puzzle is, I am a fourth order incomplete magic square in this calendar whose top left corner number is 2. Can you make me a complete magic square by rearranging the numbers in a square arrangement? Appy thinks for a while and says, In a square, the top left corner number is 2 and the square is of fourth order. So, the square is this. I can make it a complete magic square. Let me show you how. Here, these are the basic numbers. And these are the root numbers. Now, I will make a Latin square by using the basic numbers like this. When I split this Latin square into four squares of second order like this, I get squares in which each square has the same diagonal sum. Observe that to get this, I have used the equal placement of numbers while choosing the numbers from 2, 3, 4 and 5. See, here the first and third square are mirror reflections of each other. Similarly, the second and fourth square are also mirror reflections of each other. The third square is below the first square and the fourth square is below the second square. Now, I will make four small Latin squares by using the root numbers like this. It's worth noticing that here I have used the equal placement of numbers while choosing the numbers from 0, 7, 14 and 21. In these squares, the row sums and column sums are equal, whereas the diagonal sums are not the same. Remember that in the first Latin square, the smaller square and its reflection is fixed one below the other. So here, I will fix these squares diagonally like this. Now, I will undertake the cell to cell addition of both Latin squares and get the composite square like this. In this square, the sum of all rows, columns and diagonals is equal. Hence, this is a magic square. And you can see the numbers in a square given by you are rearranged to form a magic square. Now let me share an easy trick to make a magic square. Look at this magic square. I will interchange the equally placed numbers along each diagonal like this. This way, I'll get another magic square. Now, let me show you one more magic in this square. For the same, 
I will write the square of the number in each cell like this. In this square, the end row sum and end column sum is equal. Similarly, the second and third row sums and the second and third column sums are also equal. So, this is the imperfect magic square that solves the puzzle of finding numbers that can be expressed as the sum of four squares in two different ways. There are many ways to make a magic square. In this square, I can interchange the positions of 3 and 25, 4 and 24, 9 and 19, and 16 and 12, like this. See, I got a magic square. I can also interchange the mid column like this. Even this is a magic square. Let me show you another magic in this square. For this, I will form a midpoint square like this. Now, I will add the numbers on the opposite side of a mid square. See, their sum is equal. Similarly, their sums of their squares and the sums of cubes are also equal. Isn't it interesting? Fruity says, Yes, Appy, you're a genius. Appy says, Thank you, Fruity. We both have solved the puzzles. It means that we both are equally clever. So let's end this debate and play. So students, I hope you understood about the magic squares in a calendar. Thanks for watching this video. See you later.